Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Gerald Majestov. I'm the CEO and founder of Better Technologies. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today, uh, coming from Chicago, Illinois. We are one of the five uh, US based companies in the Cisco AR program, and we're happy for Cisco to host us here. So, let me tell you a little bit about uh, what Embedder and what we do. So, Embedder makes smart sensors for high fidelity, high frequency monitoring for a variety of applications, primarily civil infrastructure monitoring. What differentiates our sensors, which are called smart sensors, from what you might find elsewhere is that these sensors don't just produce data, they generate meaningful information right at the edge before it ever gets uh, to, into the cloud, into the network. And this uh, technology has come out of uh, the research that the founders, the other co-founders uh, of the university, uh, of the company, have been doing at the University of Illinois, uh, working together for over a course of more than a decade uh, on uh, leading uh, world-leading research in the areas of civil engineering and computer science. So, what do we do with that? We first applied this technology to the area of civil infrastructure monitoring, things like bridges, rail, roads. In the United States, unfortunately, the current state of civil infrastructure is in dire shape. This is well known. Uh, the American Society of Civil Engineers gives uniform poor grades to all kinds of infrastructure. And this is due to decades of persistent underinvestment in maintenance. Maintenance is expensive, so people tend to skip on it. So, uh, this has been going on for quite a while. Why is this becoming a, a critical problem now? Let me give you a concrete example from the railroad industry. Right now, most of the rail network is running under capacity. So if they need to do some routine maintenance, if they need to slow down some trains passing over a uh, uh, breaking down bridge, that's fine. In the next 20 years, they, virtually all of that network will run over capacity. It means that any kind of uh, maintenance actions, any kind of service breakdowns will become exponentially more expensive than they are now. So, uh, what they need to do is catch the problems early and fix the problems early before they become very, very expensive. And this is where our company comes in. So, what we did with one uh, bridge, which was one of our pilot deployments, and this was profiled in the New York Times, is we deployed over 100 sensors on it, providing over 600 sensor channels about the structural condition and the behavior of that bridge, turning it into an intelligent structure that proactively reports to the engineers if there is some anomaly, if there is something they need to look at before it becomes a bigger problem. This is made possible by the Embedor Smart Sensor Platform. This is a combination of a hardware sensor node, uh, which encompasses some computational capability, as well as data storage and data acquisition, as well as uh, distributed software that manages the wireless network where these sensors operate, being able to acquire, process, in many cases collaboratively in a distributed fashion, so not just taking data from one sensor, but taking multiple sensors together and trying to get a holistic picture of what is going on with the system. This technology uh, enables us to disrupt the current marketplace for the monitoring of civil infrastructure. Virtually all of the currently deployed monitoring technologies in this space are wired. And they are wired because of the uh, very precise requirements on synchronization and large distributed sensing uh, that is very hard to do uh, prior to our technology in a wireless fashion. But once we're able to do this, and we are able to do this now, we can dramatically reduce the costs of those monitoring systems by as much as two orders of magnitude. That enables the technology to be more widely deployed rather than just on the very, very key uh, bridges, key structures that you really have to make sure they are in working order. We've been looking beyond just the civil infrastructure monitoring use case because once we have this platform available, uh, it becomes very attractive to look for other applications where the same kind of requirements uh, tend to crop up and the same technology can be used to reduce their costs, to enable them to do preventive maintenance in a much better fashion. We have previously done uh, another pilot deployment in the agriculture space, uh, looking at soil monitoring, and we're currently exploring uh, two other uh, verticals in uh, oil and gas exploration. Again, you can imagine 
laying out miles and miles of wires uh, to deploy sensors for ground-based imaging of underground reserves, uh, as well as for the monitoring of the condition of vehicles. And here we're talking primarily not cars, but uh, very large mining and construction equipment, where you really need lots of sensors and lots of data to uh, get an assessment of the condition of that um, machinery. And we've been fortunate uh, at this point to gain a fair amount of traction, both uh, in terms of customers and potential customers, as well as uh, joint development projects. Uh, one of the companies that's uh, uh, getting our sensors is uh, CCCC. It's uh, one of the uh, companies in China that's responsible for monitoring 80% of their long span bridges in that country. So they're in the early stages of looking at technologies that can help them do their job better, and we are one of the uh, companies that they've gone to. Uh, as well, uh, we have uh, pilot projects uh, either uh, in planning or in deployment with uh, several other companies, including Can Canadian National Railroad here in the US, uh, as well as a couple of uh, Illinois-based companies in uh, Caterpillar and Granger. And we've been fortunate to work with one of the other companies, in fact, Plat1, which just presented uh, it through uh, this Cisco AR program. We met them here. Uh, we listened to each other's pitches. We figured out that we both have technology that the other can make use of. So one of the sensors that uh, you will soon be able to get through the Plat1 platform will be the Ambidor Smart Sensor platform. Um, and uh, working with uh, some other companies that provide pieces to our smart sensor technology. So virtually everything that we do is at the edge on the structure itself in the wireless network. So getting that connected, uh, getting that uh, IT infrastructure together, uh, we're working with some of their companies and uh, Desert Bright University there, that's in Kazakhstan. Uh, they're the folks looking at the natural gas uh, exploration and we've been working with them um, starting the first of next year. All of this leads into the vision of the future that we have for this technology, where it's not just any particular vertical or any particular uh, application, but across a wealth of applications where you have a need for uh, very in-depth, very uh, smart, very computationally and resource intensive uh, data processing and data acquisition at the edge of the network, coming together with cloud-based analytics at the back end, with the overall goal of making uh, informed decisions possible, whether it's in the maintenance of civil infrastructure, in oil and gas exploration, or other uh, environments where you have so much data that raw data is virtually useless. You need information that's derived from the data, whether it's at the source, as with our sensors, or in the cloud, as with a number of other IoT solutions. Thank you. Thank you very much.